What's up guys? I just wanted to give y'all a quick show of my reptiles. This is my six and a half foot Colombian reptile boa. Her name's Frankie. And she's probably the biggest snake I have right now. Ron, this is my Amazon tree boa. Right down in here. He is probably five and a half foot long. Pretty big for an Amazon tree boa. It's actually a she. And I'm hoping she may be pregnant, but I'm not sure about that yet. Oh, over here we have my Nile monitor. It's just a baby. I think he's hiding under here. There he is. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can't scare him out. He's a mean little guy. But it's a lot of fun. Down below them, I have my probably two and a half foot Savannah monitor. And if I get the door open, he is probably one of the nicest ones I have. He loves to be in your face all the time. He is really nice. Alright, over here have a rack that I just bought um, just installed the heat tape yesterday not a whole lot in here yet but I'll show you what I got here's my I don't think just shed um, red hog nose and he could be an angry little guy but he's not too bad I don't think he's still shedding so I guess I will soak him and shed him in just a little while I make down the video. I was told he was normal, but I mean, as you can see, he's pretty red. So. Um, in here, I have two California king snakes in each of these. I won't get them out. They just ate yesterday. I mean, yeah, they look like. Um, here I have my male... Gecko, just a normal. He's pretty big though. Um, just in a small container for right now. Till tomorrow when I set up his new cage. And these. Let's see what they are. These are the first two baby geckos I've hatched out. Um, I just started breeding. I bred two females this year. And those are the first babies I've got. I shove some more in the next few days. I've got about eight more eggs incubating right now. Right here, I have my, I have a, about a two foot Central American boa. I don't really want to get him out right now. Um, he's just eight as well. And here we have two of my females, a uh, blizzard gecko, and then an apter, hit for um, apter. And up here is one of my albino males. He hasn't bred for me. He's a little bit retarded, actually, I think. So that's why you can stay in here. I keep him with females all year round because he won't mess with them. Right here, we have my Jackson's Chameleon, who is shedding right now, as you can see. But he's a pretty cool little guy. Doesn't really like to be handled too much, so I just leave him alone. Hopefully, I'm going to get him a female. I got a reptile show coming up in one month from today actually so I'm gonna try to get him a female to breed right here we have my albino pac-man frog um, I'm not a huge frog fan but I kinda wanted to try out a pac-man frog and in here if we can find him anyway I have a flat rock scorpion and I do not feel like getting stung trying to find him right now, so I'll do another video on him later. So, that's it, and here's my old rack. But I'm using the thermostat right now for the other one. And a few little breeder mice. But other than that, that's it. Actually, I can show y'all. 
my incubator. Don't get it open. Right now I've got let's see eight. There's actually twelve eggs in there right now, but I know two or three of them aren't good, and I just haven't had time to get around to getting them out. So anyway, yeah, that's my reptile room, and I'll put up some videos of individual snakes later.